Hello and welcome to Law Fiscal Transfer of Property Act 1882 Definitions Interpretation Clause Section 3 Section 3 has some definitions that we should know before you go in detail about Transfer of Property Act Some of the definitions Immovable property What is immovable property? And there are many cases related to immovable property Everything we have discussed in the previous video, you can check the link above. Now, some other definitions are attested, attestation, actionable claim, and notice. Today, we are going to discuss about attested, attestation. Attested or attestation. Attestation means to sign witness to the fact of execution of a document by the executant. Here, what is execution means? When an owner of the property wants to transfer his property for some consideration to somebody else, what he has to do? He has to sign on some document, especially for an immovable property. The document is the only proof that to show others that the ownership belongs to whom. So he has to sign, put his sign on that stamp paper and transfer it to somebody else that process is known as the execution and who is the executant executant is the current owner of the property is the executant of that particular transfer now attest attest means to bear witness to a fact or testify a fact if you say attest you are actually bearing witness to the entire execution process that the owner has put his sign in that stamp paper and the entire process is done in a fair manner you are testifying it this is done in a fair manner that is what is called bear witness to the fact or testify a fact the term attested in section 3 of transfer of property act means a person has signed the document by way of testimony of the fact that he saw it executed so we all know what you see is believing most of the time it is like that so here section 3 says that the witness has to see it is all happening so that is what it means that he saw it executed attestation is valid and complete when two witness signed the instrument instrument is the paper a stamp paper that you use to transfer your property and uh, witness is the two person that they saw that you the owner has signed in that stamp paper and it is valid means it is a valid document for everybody else to show that the title of the ownership of that property belongs to who so the entire thing has to happen in order to make sure that the property title to be established the object of the attestation is to ensure that there is no fraud or violating circumstances in the execution of the document so that means the owner of the property has willfully transferred his property to somebody else nobody has forced him or no fraud no cheating happened in that entire process the witness actually testifies that the attestation happened or the execution happened in a proper manner essential conditions of a valid attestation the first one confined only to a non-testamentary instrument it will not apply to wills wills we all know everybody will come to know after the death of the owner before the death nobody will come to know about who is actually getting his property for that reason attestation is not required for wills for rest every other document attestation is required the second one for the attestation we need two witnesses the maximum witnesses is not mentioned three modes of attestations are recognized we will come to it which are the three modes the first mode is 
each sees the executant signing or fixing the mark which means each witness sees that the executant the owner of the property is actually signing the document in their presence that is one way another way is each sees the other person signing in the presence and by the direction of the executant here what we need to see is the two witnesses are physically present at the same time and they both can see each other they are signing the document in the presence of the owner of the property who is the executant also signing the property the third option is each has received from the executant the personal acknowledgement this is when at times the actual owner cannot be present for the real transaction happening so the witness may receive his personal acknowledgement acknowledging that okay i am ready to transfer my property so that is what is called as personal acknowledgement that is through his sign execute and sign the owner of the property he is uh, putting his signature there through some authorized person or his seal or something that is called of executant's mark the third is sign of one who signed for the executant maybe the same property previously might have been signed by his authorized person so that person might be present there for the transaction happening and in the presence of, and by his direction so his direction and presence the transactions may be happening the fourth one each witness signs instrument in the presence of an executant it means that the two witness may not be present at the same time but they see the instrument that the executant has signed it and they verified it the fifth one is presence of both or all attesting witnesses one and the same time is not essential that is exactly we said in the fourth option as well to be make sure one more time it is mentioned here presence of both or all the witnessing attesting witness whoever is attesting the witness at the same time is not essential now the last one is no particular form of attestation is prescribed law doesn't say about any particular form of attestation to be required apart from this so now qualifications of an attester in order to attest a document or a bear witness to a document what are the qualities one should have there are five qualities a person should have to be qualified to be a valid attester the first option is he should be major 18 plus anybody the age is 18 and above can be a valid attester second one is sound mind anybody caught declares of unsound mind is a sound mind person so they can be a valid attester it doesn't say about he should be literate or illiterate so he can be a educated person or illiterate person can be a valid attester party to the deed should not attest party to the deed is a one who is the owner of the party and also is the recipient and his family members is all getting the benefit of it should not be an attester so that is what it is called party to the deed should not attest and uh, sub register of stamps and registration is not competent to attest so it is a government body and they also should not attest the registration process here we are talking about a valid attestation section 59 of transfer of property act if a mortgage deed is not fully attested it cannot be enforced in a court in the previous video we have seen any immovable property of value more than 100 has to be registered if it does not register it is not a valid document and it cannot be enforced so the transfer of property says a mortgage deed if it is not duly attested it cannot be 
enforced in a court. Let's look at some of the case laws here. The first case is very important. Kundal Lal versus Musher. Here, executant was a Pardha Nation lady sitting behind a thin curtain when attest is signed. The property belongs to a Muslim lady who is wearing a Pardha on her face. It is a thin curtain of Pardha and uh, attest is signed the document and she actually transferred the document. Here, she went to the court saying that I did not see the attester. If you see the previous section, essential conditions of a valid attestation, each there we have seen six points. In every point, it is essential that the executant should see the witness. She was coming to that point saying that because of my thin parda, I could not see the witness. But the court said the other ways. If you wanted, you could have seen it. The preview council held that the attestation was valid and the executant could have seen the witness even is she is not actually see them through the thin curtain. So that is what the court held that the attestation was valid. So let's look at uh, other case law. Rao Ganga Prasad Singh versus Isturi Prasad Singh. Deed mortgage was signed behind the Pada and was brought to the witness bearing the signature. Preview council held that there is no valid attestation. Here also, witness did not see the actual owner signing the document and it was brought to the witness. And why preview council held that it is not a valid attestation? It is not mandatory that the actual owner should be present. But one thing is essential. If the actual owner is not present, the acknowledgement of the actual owner should be there. And we know for a valid attestation, attester must have actually witnessed the execution or received from the executant an acknowledgement of the execution. If there is a issue for the Parda Nation lady or a Muslim lady to come in front of the other people, she should have given an acknowledgement that she has executed it. Because of these two reasons, the preview council held that it is not a valid attestation. So one more case, Sandlal Mahajan versus Kamala Prasad. Here, mortgage deed was signed by the scribber and signed by the witness on the same day. The scribber is the one who actually writes the deed in a particular format. He may be a legal person. And the person who signs the document is a witness. The duty of the witness is bear witness that the executant has signed the document. But here, instead of that, witness has signed it without realizing their responsibility. And uh, the mortgager signed the mortgage deed after four days. And after the witness signed, the owner signed it after four days. So here, the Supreme Court held that it is not a valid attestation. We all know that in order to be a valid attestation, the executant should sign first, then the witness should see that everything happening and then they should sign. For a valid attestation, the attesting witness should sign after the executant signed. Let's uh, look at the difference between English law and Indian law regarding attestation. English law insists on the presence of two witnesses at the time of attestation. Here, the presence of witness at the time of attestation is important in the English law. But Indian law, presence of two witnesses is not compulsory, necessary at the time of attestation. Witness can even sign it later on. The rule of attestation are strict, rigid in English law. But the rule of attestation are flexible, liberal in Indian law. So I hope this video is helpful to you to understand the attestation, attest and every details about it. If it is useful to you, please give a like and subscribe to this channel and 
the next video is coming today itself and make sure you spread this information with your friends so that everybody will be aware of it and able to prepare well for their exams and take care god bless you